This content was taken from our groundbreaking heat pump and system design training. Engineers that take this course and pass our rigorous verification process are arguably the best engineers in the country and capable of designing and installing the most efficient heat pump systems possible. And they can be found at heatgeek.com. To qualify for permitted planning, but also to access government or local grants, installations and installers have to be MCS certificated or equivalent. This is quite a big office heavy process, so it's typically impractical for heating companies under five personnel. MCS umbrella schemes offer a solution to the heavy administration required. They act on behalf of the installation company to complete the mandatory MCS tasks and can also do things such as help with DNO and planning applications. They can often make much more financial sense for both the installer and customer depending on the specific umbrella scheme. Heat pump installations are very expensive and invasive compared to either traditional heating installations or even other renewable installations. Some umbrella schemes offer additional warranty on installations and products, which can be used as a tool for installers to aid with the sales process, while also assuring the customer that perhaps the more local smaller installer is supported by a larger firm. Whether under an umbrella scheme or not, all installation should conform to the MCS standards. MCS, which is the Micro Generation Certification Scheme, is a certification body that certifies micro generation products and installers in the renewable energy sector. To become MCS registered, a company must meet the requirements set out by the MCS standards and pass a certification process, which includes only using MCS certified products. Here are the steps to become MCS registered. Pick a renewables category. MCS certification covers a range of micro generation technologies, including solar PV, wind and biomass, not just heat pumps. Learn all the relevant standards. The relevant MCS standards outline the requirements for those specific products and installer certification. The business must review these standards and ensure that they fully understand each requirement. Join an approved consumer code. Approved consumer codes ensure that the business operates in a specific way with its own specific rules to support self-regulation and promote consumer interests. Typically, REC, R-E-C-C, or HIES, H-I-E-S, are the options. These generally go much further beyond consumer law obligations and promote effective customer service and protection. Apply for MCS certification. Submit an application to an MCS certification body such as NIEIC, Oftec, or HITAS. The certification body will assess the application and determine if they meet the requirements outlined in the MCS standards. Get assessed by the MCS certification body. If the application is approved, the business will be required to complete an assessment by the certification body. As well as checking for technical qualifications such as the G3 certification, water regulation certifications, or any heating qualifications or experience, the assessment will evaluate the general technical knowledge, installation process, and quality management systems that should have been put in place. MCS certification. Upon successful completion of the assessment, the business will be awarded MCS certification. This will allow them to use the MCS logo and offer MCS certified products and services to customers and access grants. MCS certification is valid for three years and must be renewed annually to maintain its validity. MCS also requires that certified installers complete continuing professional development, training each year to stay up to date with industry developments. Standards to be followed. Standards to be learned and understood and strictly followed for heat pump installations break down into general scheme standards and specific heat pump standards. The general scheme standards are MCS 001-1, the MCS Contractor Standard Part 1 Requirements for MCS Contractors, MCS 001-2, the MCS Contractor Standard Part 2 The Certification Process, MCS 020, MCS Planning Standards for Permitted Development Installations of Wind Turbines and Air Source Heat Pumps on Domestic Premises, MCS 023, Additional Requirements for MCS Contractors to Demonstrate Past 2030 Equivalents or Installation of Microgeneration Technologies, MCS 025, the competency standard. The specific heat pump standards that must be understood and implemented are MIS 3005-D, the heat pump standard for design. MIS 3005-I, the heat pump standard for installation. 
And these are intermittently updated and can be freely accessed at mcscertified.com. This full course can be found at courses.heatgeek.com. And don't forget to comment with any questions you might have, as well, of course, please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.